Hello, my name is Joshua Mutu and welcome to Pixel Make. In our last videos, we created our wheels and tread animation and linked those to our horizontal controls. We then created our aim animation using a blend tree and then linked that blend tree to our vertical controls. And then finally, we created our explosion animation, which we linked to our bullet destroy script. The links to those videos will be on screen and in the description below. In today's video, we're going to be creating a C Sharp script which will allow the camera to follow the player's position. The difficulty of today's video is going to be the fluffy difficulty, so it won't be that hard to do. The assets we'll be using in today's video will be available to download for free. The links will be in the description below. So in order to make our camera follow our player, we need to create a C Sharp script to make our camera to move to the tank's position. So I'm going to go into our scripts folder, then right click, create C sharp script and I'm going to call this camera underscore follow. I'm going to open that up, get rid of all this. So the first thing we're going to create is a public transform and this is going to be called player tank and then we're going to access the fixed update function so void fixed update brackets curly brackets and then we want to uh, change the position of the camera. So we do transform dot position. And then we do equals new vector free. And then we create some brackets. And what we want to do is set the uh, camera to move to the player's X and Y position. So we do player tank dot position dot X. Then we do comma. And again, we do player tank dot position, and then we do dot y. And because we don't want to change the z position, we do transform dot position dot z. So if we save that, so I'm going to do control s, go back to Unity, select our camera, and then click and drag our camera follow script onto our camera. And then all we need to do is select our tank object and drag it into our camera follow script. So if you run the game, the camera now follows the uh, tank, but at the bottom of the screen, you're getting the blue background color, and we don't want that. So I'm gonna create a bit of code which gets the screen height, and I'm gonna create a little calculation to determine the size of the camera. So. I'm going to go back to our script and then we're going to create a public float called camera distance and I'm going to set that to equal 30.0f. So we're going to access a new function called the awake function. And what this is, it runs the bit of code inside the function before the game starts. So we're going to do void, awake, brackets, curly brackets. And what we're going to do is change the size of the camera, depending on the height of the screen, whilst changing the distance as well. So we do get component, and then we do unity engine dot camera. And then we do brackets dot orthographic size. And we're going to set that to be equal to brackets, brackets, screen height. So screen dot height divided by two. And then outside this uh, first brackets, we're then going to be dividing that again by our camera distance. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to save the script. Go back to Unity, come out of the playtest, wait for it to update, and then click play again. And again, it's still too big, but what you can do is if I come out of the playtest, then if I make the camera distance higher, setting it to 50, it will affect the camera size, making it smaller. So if I run the game again, it's now zoomed in, and we're no longer seeing that blue background color. So that's all we're doing for today's video. 
This is the last video of the series, but we're working hard on the next series that is coming soon. For more updates, hit that subscribe button and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. If you found today's video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Unity 3D. My name is Joshua Mutu, and thanks for watching. Thank you.